happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. I think every kid in India knows who Rajni Kant is now today. Even a kid in like Nagaland might know who Rajni Kant is. A uh, kid in like you know remote Kashmir will know. Uh, my point is that what actually causes superstardom in Tamil culture in the first place. For someone to get known on a national level, first you need to kill it in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Why are people drawn to Kamal Hassan or Rajni Kant for that matter? But who else would you put in that category? For superstar? Yeah, for like national level superstar, but coming out of Tamil Nadu. See, I'll tell you something about Rajni Khan. Um, in Tamil Nadu, you see Kamal Hassan is someone who will always brag about himself. He's so, but he can do that. He's that kind of a personality. He's he's just a goat in that. When it comes to acting, writing, directing, anything you take, he is. If you if you have to say, he's much 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 higher in all these categories than Rajnikanth Kamal Hassan. Talent wise. Talented. He's so much talented. Mm. But the thing is, he's little advanced to the common minds of the people. Okay. He's kind of little advanced to the common audience of Tamil Nadu. But Rajnikanth knows the pulse of the audience. He is, he can Rajnikanth in someone. He doesn't need a comedian in his movie. He can do comedy. He can do um, his comedies work. That's the best thing. Is he can do comedy. He can do um, you know emotional things. He can do uh, adventures. He is some. He is someone who can give entire thing in a package. So the kind of movies he did, if you see in the past, everything is a super hit. But if you see uh, the Kamal Hassan movies, it it's not super hit. But it's quality movies. It's respected. It's respected movies. It's quality. Okay. It's blockbuster. But Rajnikanth is a different package. You see him. He's so down to earth. He's so talented. He knows the pulse of the audience. He knows what audience wants. So every almost all the careers of uh, Rajnikanth, most of the ninety nine percent of the movies are blockbusters. Mm. So. Who's gonna come after so you know Rajnikan? Th- there was actually a debate going on. Uh, uh, Vijay taking its uh its place. I think there's a huge uh, possibilities for that. Yeah. Yeah, because like, he's giving that kind of hits. He's um that he's capturing the young minds actually. Okay. But uh, he's You're being about Vijay Setupati. No, 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 no. It's um just Vijay. Vijay. It's okay. Vijay. Hmm. Uh, Ilya Talabadi Vijay. So Vijay is someone he is going to get into politics for sure, but it's the case of when it's happening. Okay. So he made that kind of you know symbolic statement in many places. If you watch his audio launch speaks, it's very much. Uh, he always, especially after the see, there's a vacuum after Jayalalitha and Karunanidhi's death. They kind of died in at the same time. So the two leaders of the nation, they are you know the two leaders of the state gone. Now there's a vacuum. Only uh, Karunanidhi has a son, Stalin, who is now a chief minister. He established as a potential leader. There's no leader at the other end. So people, a lot of from the you know kind of from from all of the field are emerging as a leader. Let's say Kamal Hassan. He didn't come to politics when Karunanidhi and Jayalalitha was in politics. Uh, Vijay, he didn't. He tried to talk, but he was a lot of time, uh, you know, being pushed to the extreme by the politicians because he had political talks, uh, especially by Jayalalitha. I think they were troubling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are they troubling him? The, the his movies won't get released. A lot of his oh. movies uh, got uh, you know postponed. There's so many issues that that's very much aware of the public. Even everybody knows this. Like it's not a um, secret thing. Most North Indians don't know all these. Yeah, this is this is very see. Jayalalitha and Karunanidhi were very much of a autocratic people. If you speak against them. uh when they are in power like when especially if you're not uh someone uh, you know especially the movie industry in tamil nadu is controlled by the politics politicians because it has such a control over the people yes every single tamil person watches yes. tamil movies yes 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 we are very much attached to movies every tamil person yes uh, uh, love, even in villages we love watching movies even in like yes. extreme high class society yes yes we love watching movies why so much love See if you see the history of Tamil Nadu, uh, I think in after nineteen seventies, the Karunanidhi was a 
was from cinematic field he from cine field mj is from cine field jalalita is from cine field now uh, the next potential leaders who are rising is from cine field let's take kamal hasan he is from cine field there's some guy called simon he is from cine field uh next uh, if vijay is coming he is from cine field so mostly people kind of drawn to cinema so whatever they see maybe in the past uh, generation it's like that i don't think it's going to work anymore uh, the stalin son uday nidhi stalin he is he got into politics now he is mp um, but he to get into politics he first acted in movies so if you want to make it big in politics you got to be uh, you know in cinema so cinema is very much connected with the people correct me if i'm wrong but shahrukh khan's popularity also exists in tamil nadu definitely it is there definitely uh, but not to many other hindi film actors are that no, popular no 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 is it because shahrukh khan has made event appearances regularly in tamil nadu that's my understanding of it he's been connected to that audience no uh, we don't uh, if you ask my you know grandparents or parents they wouldn't know much about shahrukh khan my, maybe my father might know something about shahrukh khan but if you go to the village side they don't know much about shahrukh khan how we got to know about him is shahrukh khan is being portrayed as a as a handsome man like uh, whenever there's a, a conversation or something happening in tamil movies uh, it, it when it comes to describing a beauty of a person don't act like as if you're shahrukh khan uh. so this kind of statements are made very often so we know him But especially if you see aishwarya aishwarya rai uh, and for tamil people no matter how many uh, you know miss world comes it will only be aishwarya rai for world beauty for us it will only be aishwarya rai for all the time i think that's for all indians oh yeah uh, really yeah, yeah pretty much right for like, us it's always the, aishwarya rai she she's is our favorite of beauty for india yeah. all over the world like if you just purely talk about beauty Do you do you all watch Tamil dubs? No, no, people no. Want, I'll tell you why I know this because we tried launching a Via Vaisa Tamil channel some years ago. Oh, okay. And people were like, instead of having it dubbed, you need an actual Tamil guy yes. explaining the same concepts. Yes, we That don't like better. dubbing things in Tamil Nadu. Hmm. We hate dubbing things. This is so important culturally to understand a particular region's preferences. This is why yeah. businesses can't expand beyond a certain country. Yes. Or so if you enjoy this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.